I'm sure as most of y'all know, Amazon Prime Day or the two days from Amazon Prime is June 21st and 22nd and I have got a couple things that I ordered from Amazon Prime Day for their pricing and it's already came in. What's up everybody, my name is Zach Brown and here on Tech Gear we do tech reviews, gear reviews, some tips and tricks to help you out on your own YouTube journey as well as the occasional vlog. If you like any of that content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you know when I have a new video out. Now just to give you a little backstory on kind of what I was looking for for Amazon Prime and some of the deals that, you know, I was hoping would come is I've been playing a little bit of games here lately, trying to get back into it. Um, I've <laughs> been really awful here lately and trying to get my aim and all back with computer and the mouse. And I have realized that I'm kind of tired of having wires and, you know, wired keyboard and mouse all over the desk. I know the keyboard is a little bit harder to find wireless, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. But I am looking to upgrade from the G502 mouse. Now I've been using this mouse, it's been my favorite one basically since I built, started building computers. It's been probably five, six years. And I started out with the regular one that was black with the blue trim. Then I upgraded to the RGB version later on, and that's what I, that's been my primary gaming mouse for my computer setup. Now I have picked up some other mouses since then. Um, and tried them out. I tried like a Razer Tournament Edition. Um, I liked it a lot. I really liked the, the weight of it. I've also tried out the G604 and it's been pretty much my primary gaming mouse for my laptop and it stays with that computer. I don't usually ever use it in here with my main setup. I've always had a wired version in here which has been nice because I don't have to worry about charging it up. But I will say the battery life on the G604 is pretty much unbeatable. I've charged it maybe three times ever. <laughs> it's excellent. I was able to find a good deal on two different mice that are pretty much competitors. One of them is the Razer Viper Ultimate, which have amazing reviews and everybody loves that mouse. And it is extremely lightweight, maybe a third less than what the G502 weighs. The G502 is like 120 grams. The Razer Viper Ultimate is only 74, so humongous increase in weight with the G502 compared to the new one. I actually bought it pre-Prime Day sale, so I didn't get the actual extra savings on it, but I did get a good deal on it. And the next one is in this box. Alright, so the first thing in the box is a set of keycaps that I'm probably going to replace this keyboard right here, or I'm thinking about adding it to a keyboard build that I have on the way, so I am attempting to build my very first keyboard or DIY build my very first mechanical keyboard and I've ordered the parts I'm not sure when they're gonna be in I ordered it from a company called KBD fans or a website called KBD fans so that is in the works and this keyboard key set may go on there or for the time being until it gets here may go on this keyboard just so I can try it out ready for a different look so new keycaps I've also got another white set coming um, in another order from Amazon they're only like $13 right now so excellent time to buy keycaps if you're looking for some but that is what that is for. And the second one that I got in this box is the G Pro Wireless. So pretty much the straight competitor to the Razer Viper Ultimate. And just a little bit higher profile or a little bit taller mouse. But I've been a Logitech user pretty much my entire uh, computer career since I was a kid. I've always enjoyed their products. I think they make great stuff. And I'm happy to try this out. Now I was kind of skeptical at first. I didn't want to spend the money on really either one of these but with the viper ultimate i got it on sale for about 105 dollars black friday i mean not black friday uh, prime day all the way down to like 89 or 85 so excellent deal on that and that also comes with the stand which i got when i bought it as well so perfect time to buy the razor viper ultimate and the logitech g pro wireless i think is a little overpriced um you don't get a stand you don't get some of the features that the razor viper ultimate has but it come down in price as well. I was able to get it for like $99 um, for the Prime Day sale. So I thought I would try it out and, you know, compare these mice. Maybe make a video on the comparison to help some of you guys if you're looking to buy one of these mice. They're both wireless. I'm thinking I'm going to have one for this setup. And if I keep them both, I'll use my other one in there with my laptop and kind of do away with the 604 for now. I really like this mice. It's not a mice. It's a mouse. I really like this mouse when I bought it compared to the G502. It's kind of a similar shape. Um... The top body and all, um, it felt kind of the same in your hands. It's got the extra buttons on the side, which I didn't really use, but about one or two of them. Actually, there's a little more to that story. I set this mouse up for editing videos one time and used it quite a bit when I was working on a laptop. So I went into the software from Logitech and I programmed all these side buttons to do different tasks in Final Cut Pro or say Photoshop. So it was really useful to have all them buttons there. I would have one for like a permanent delete key. One was a back button, one was a redo, a undo, you know, stuff like that. 
Um, so that is a very cool way to use a you know multi multi button mouse. I'm wanting to try to you know move to the lighter mice, um, especially if I'm gonna be playing games, which is mainly what I've done with that mouse. I've been using this Viper, and I really like the uh, the weight of it. So I'll probably take one of the mice and put it in there with my laptop and use it primarily there, and use the other one in here in the office on my main setup. All right, just to give my kind of my first initial impressions of these mice, I left my G502 here on the desk just for reference. I've been using the Razer Viper Ultimate for a couple days now. Um, like I said, I, was, I bought it before the Prime Day. So I've got a little bit of experience with it. And then on the G Pro Wireless, my first impressions just now unboxing it is it's got a very slick finish on the outside. Um, I'm kind of not a big fan of that. The Viper Ultimate's got like a texture to it and I really like that. I think it would um, do a lot better in, in scenarios like where your hands get sweaty, which typically ain't that big of a deal inside indoors with air conditioning. but. Um, I'm sure if you're a good uh, gamer or, you know, uh, real stressed out gaming, you could get a little warm. But that is one thing that I do not like about the G Pro Wireless, but I really do like the shape of it. Um, it's, it's still similar in size to the Viper Ultimate, but the Viper Ultimate is just a little lower, especially like in the hump right here. Um, they're about the same width, you know, they're, they're pretty similar in size. The G Pro Wireless is taller. And right here around the G logo, it kind of fills out your palm just a little bit more. So like right in there, and I, and I kind of like that. The Razer Viper Ultimate is definitely lighter at 74 grams compared to 80 grams with the G Pro Wireless, but it even feels like a larger difference in your hand. Like the numbers don't really do it justice. Now to compare it with the G502, we'll bring it in. So that is a size comparison between the three mice. And then just for an added bonus, there's the G 604 I think that's the name of it yeah right here's the G604 you kind of go start down here and go upwards all the way till you get to the 604 now I've always liked the G502 but I'm realizing now from using the Viper Ultimate that it is extremely heavy and just so you know I don't use any weights in the mouse it can go even heavier than this mine's at about 120 grams I think it can go up to about 140 149 grams somewhere around in there I don't know the exact number but none of the weights are in my mouse and it's as light as you can get it. I just really enjoy the shape of it. I'm starting to think that for gaming, especially for aiming, I'm using the claw grip a lot. I'm picking the mouse up with just these three fingers right here. And uh, I'm not really using the palm of my hand while I'm playing. So these nice lighter mice are uh, kind of aiding me and a little bit better of an option for gaming, I think, for me nowadays. Another thing I noticed with the G Pro Wireless is the side buttons are a lot more profound. They stick out from the mouse a lot more than the Razer Viper Ultimate. They're kind of more of like a flush line. They're, they're poked out just a little bit, but it's a lot harder to feel compared to the G Pro Wireless. You know exactly where the buttons are with your thumb when you're holding the mouse, and I kind of like that. They do seem a little bit easier to press in than the Viper Ultimate, which can be a good or a bad. I like to know where my button is, but then take a little bit of strength to push the button in so I don't have any accidental presses. I really do like the shape of this mouse. All right, so I'm gonna spend the next couple days here um, kind of testing the two out. I'm gonna hook them both up to my main system here, play some games on it, see what I like and don't like about them, and see which one I want to live in here and which one I want to go with the laptop, or if I even wanna get rid of one of them. I may even not like one of them. I'm really impressed with the Viper Ultimate so far. I really, really like the texture and uh, the rubber on the sides. I just, I really like that. So what I'm thinking as of right this second, if anything goes, it's gonna be the G Pro Wireless because the, the slickness of it. Now I have seen by watching reviews and other people's opinions on this mouse that uh, obviously everybody loves it. There's a lot of people that like the shape and love the mouse. That's kind of why I want to give it a shot. But they said that there is some grip that you can get for the sides which may make it feel a little more like the Viper Ultimate rubber sides. That could be an option to fix my issue with the mouse. Don't know, I have to get into that and kind of see what I can dig around and find. I do like how it feels in my hand. So gonna use that for a little while. Let's talk about the keyboard. So. I have decided that I want to build me my first mechanical keyboard. I'm going to go with a 60 or 65% keyboard. I'm tired of having that big old wide thing on my desk. And especially with running lower DPI settings on my mice, I'm, I'm tending to hit the side of the keyboard a lot with the way that I prefer to sit and uh, play. And by shortening the keyboard length, I'm going to gain about six inches worth of space on my desk by shortening or cutting off the 10 keyless side and the, the arrow key side of the keyboard. So. I think that going with a 60 or 65 should treat me just fine and have a lot more room on the desk 
and be easier to maneuver around the desk when I need to, like right now, I move it to the side so I can cheat this video. But after a lot of research, I am going with the Tofu board from KBD Fans, and I'm gonna have like an aluminum plate in it. I'm gonna use Telios switches in it, V2, and probably some keycaps, roughly. Uh, this right here, or I have another brand coming in that's actually a little cheaper than the HyperX brand. They don't have the HyperX branding on the space bar like this, which I kind of prefer. I don't really want to have anything, uh, any brand on the keyboard. I just want to have a set of nice keycaps. But I'm going to have to watch some videos and figure out how to lube everything correctly. I want to make sure I do it right and do it one time. That way I'm done with it from then on out. Really looking forward to, uh, to building that. And to gain in a little space on my desk here. So be sure to check back to the channel whenever I get that in and build that, and I will show y'all what it looks like. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to look back in the channel later on. I'm gonna do a review with these two mice or a comparison between the two, um, just on my opinions of what I think from using it. If you have any questions on either of them, shoot me a comment and I will do my best to answer to the best of my knowledge. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.